Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. And using a new iPhone today, the iPhone XS Max or the XS Max as it should be known I suppose, not the XS. And I've got the front facing camera today, it's 1080p 60 frames per second, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good. It looks okay, it's actually picking up a lot of sort of crazy lighting on the back here, it's really bright in this room this morning. I'm using a mentholated soap, as you've seen from the start of the video, or the name of it, and it is face fat shaving soap. And this one is iced slice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I test landed this yesterday and I have to admit I did struggle with it. I'm using the exact same brush I used yesterday. It could be the brush, I'm not 100% sure, but it could be. It just didn't lather up like the, the other formulations that I've got all of face fat. Now this is Craig's same formula, it's just obviously it's got menthol in it. All it is is lemon and menthol and it smells brilliant. Now. If you've smelled Glacial Lemon Chill or Lemon Chill from Sterling, this smells more realistic. This smells like real lime. Uh, real lemons, sorry, not lime. It smells like real lemons. Whereas I find with the Glacial Lemon Chill, it smells almost like a sort of lemon butter icing, that sort of thing. So I'm just getting a load on. Sorry, I should have mentioned it, even mentioned. Smog Owners Club 2012. <clears throat> Got a really good load in it this morning and just see how I go. Now I can smell a real good kick of menthol from this, so I'm hoping I get a, at least a good skin sensation from it. I know the performance is there, it's a great performing soap. Right, that's the load done. I don't need any more than that. And these are right up my alley, these scents. I love citrus scents. So there's the brush loaded. Cold water shave, it's 7.25 in the morning or something. I haven't been up this early. And felt reasonably good for quite a while. So the menthol, I can feel the vapour already hitting my eyes, which is great. It's not, <coughs> you have to excuse me, I have to clean my throat quite a lot at the moment. It's not glacial menthol feeling, but I tell you what, it's a very, very chilling menthol. I can feel it already, I can feel my skin cooling down. The scent's great. I find citrus scents tend to blend with menthol very nice. They don't, the menthol doesn't seem to overtake the citrus notes. Tell you what, I'm quite impressed with the camera quality on this. In fact, I'm very impressed. I'm looking at it in the, in the actual phone at the moment. Now it's the 10s Max, so it's the 6.5 inch screen. It's massive, massive, massive phone. I've come onto this phone from the iPhone 7. It'll also be interesting to see how the audio is because this one has dual microphones as well so it actually does stereo audio not that that's something really required for a shaving video just dipping the tips oh yeah i can feel the menthol now <clears throat> so all i'm doing now is dipping the brush in the water and just painting water into the ladder until it goes translucent, and we can see the skin through it all over. And then we'll splay the brush up and hopefully whip up an amazing face fat lather. Probably one more dip after this. <coughs> Last one. 
Yeah. So as you can see, it's pretty much translucent all over. It's very airy, very bubbly. Just get that little bit on there and then we'll splay the brush. The Simog Honest Club 2012, which this one is, is 50% more, 50% badger. It's a really, really nice brush. It's taken a very long time to break in. Fucking lather everywhere. <clears throat> That's that face fat lather. Look at that bad boy grow. Face fat are a company based out of Western Australia, just north of Perth. Western Australia, which is about a sort of hour, hour and a bit's drive from where I live, south of Perth. Craig lives in the northern suburbs, or what we call over here north of the river. And that's generally where all your posh people live, you know. All your hoity toity people in that rakery. Just gonna work this a little bit longer. <coughs> Absolutely superb. That's some creamy lather. Really, really nice. Tastes like lemon. It's a little bit soapier than some other ones. I think you've got a razor blade out. <coughs> What's that one? Oh, well, there we go. I picked out a super thin blade. <laughs> Again, this will be its third use, I think. Oh, come back, Adam. Yeah, third use on the Gillette Super Stin. Super Stin? What the fuck's my handle going? So that is that one right there. Now I don't know, I don't think this front facing camera auto focuses, but for some reason it just seems to be better. It's just picking up. It seems to focus the whole screen. I don't know whether it's that multi focus camera thing that Apple's been creating for the past few years that I've never used before. But that looks pretty sharp, even though my head's still in focus. It's pretty. Pretty impressive. <clears throat> right, so here we go with the carved razor, Christopher Bradley, with the B plate, which I don't know whether I'll be able to actually show that on there. Where is it? Just down the bottom. Yeah, see, it won't focus on that. But there is a little B in the bottom corner, so I can't get in and do close up focus, but certainly from a distance, it looks pretty good. So here we go cold water shave, face fat, iced slice. As we would say in Scotland, it's chilly Baltic. This is a very cold soap. The razor feels like I'm pulling an ice cube over my skin. Now I am using cold water as well, <coughs> which makes a difference. It's coming into summer over here as well, so it's a great idea for Craig to bring out a mentholated soap. Oh, the same on this is lovely. I have to say, it's not the strongest of scents. It's around about a four. It's almost a five out of ten. But you can smell it the whole time. That menthol and lemon is really nice. Thing. 
Just to give you an update on the razor as well, this is the carve, this is the three and a half inch handle. Now, I prefer the four, the three inch handle. The reason being is this is where I sort of hold the handle like that, with these three fingers on my thumb. This finger on the three inch handle sits under here. This is because the three inch handle fit, finishes about there, roughly. So it sits there. On this handle, I have to sit it there, that's where it's comfortable. So it actually sits to the side of it. So that's why I prefer the shorter handle because I get the to balance the bottom of the razor and the weight of the razor on my finger. Whereas on this one it sort of sits on the side. So I'm gripping this, I actually grip this razor slightly tighter than I do with the three inch. These Gillette super thin blades, <coughs> God, it's doing my head and clearing my throat all the time, are absolutely brilliant. This is going to be freezing, I know it is. Wow! That's really cold. <laughs> Fuck, I love menthol. It's fucking brilliant. Bring on the summer. Right, just going to wipe a little bit of that soap off there. Let's get that on the chin. You can see how much lather there is just that's come through the flow through on the brush. I was a bit worried about the second and third pass of lather. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. It's brilliant soap. It really is. Craig's done himself proud with this formula. It's taken him a long time. I was, I've been so happy to be part of the creation of it, really, and sort of try and help him with the limited knowledge that I've got. So, cross the grape. It's slick, it's protective, it's creamy, it's glossy, it's cushiony, it's voluminous. And now it's fucking freezing. Now, I still don't think it's as cold as a glacial chill or a frostbite, but it is just, it's really cold. It might be frostbite cold. I mean, this, this razor feels like an ice cube going across my face. It really is that cold. These Gillette super thin blades, wow. Why are these not getting more press online? I really don't know. The only thing I can think of is they're not really a well-known blade. I believe they're made in Thailand for the Thailand market. They are as good, and, and I'm, at the moment, obviously, I don't know longevity wise, but these feel as good as any vintage blade I've used, believe it or not. It's the nicest, it's probably the best modern razor blade that I've used. They're nicer than the Nasa, it's nicer than the Rubies. They're, they're... This is going to be fucking freezing, I just know it. That's really cold. Woo! Yeah, I think Craig's pretty much banged the perfect amount of menthol on you. Very similar to Moil Grooming, which I'm actually <clears throat> finishing the shave off with Moil Grooming. Frosted Frankenlime.
story. Absolutely zero reaction to the soap. Just ice cold shaving soap. It's absolutely brilliant. The scent is spot on. It's just like you've cracked open a real lemon. You're about to just stick it in a drink. And the menthol, in my opinion, just makes it a nicer scent. I think menthol works so nicely with citrus. Paul H would absolutely love this stuff. I know he's a massive citrus fan, like myself. Obviously it's not a great scent for now in the UK. So you guys are heading into your autumn and your winter. It's a hell of a shave. <clears throat> Definitely cold. It's really cold. It's definitely really, really cold. Now I know it's not as cold as glacial because I can still feel my skin, and that might sound absolutely stupid. But when you shave and use a really, really cold mentholated soap. You can actually use the feeling on your skin, so when you pull your blade over it, you don't know how hard you're pushing, or whether you're causing any damage or irritation. I can feel my skin still. It's not so cold that it's numbed it, so it's certainly excellent in that regard. Absolutely superb. What a shave. Really, really happy with that. That's that little ingrown hair there that's just slowly disappearing. <clears throat> just rinse the brush out. Yeah, I would say this brush is probably as soft and as comfortable as it's ever going to be now. It's still got a very, very slight amount of scritch, but it's not enough that I don't enjoy it. So that's gives you an idea how this brush softens up because scritch is something I'm quite dead set against. I'm not a fan of it at all. I don't enjoy it. Right, rinse the soap out. Splash and go from there. So post shave, I just let that post shave feel just set in a little bit. 
The soap was face fat shaving soap, made over here in Western Australia by Craig Stanley. Absolutely top fella, really nice guy. I've met him a couple of times now, but we've had a bit of coffee and stuff like that and a good chat and it's, he's an awesome bloke. And what we've got in here, we've got coconut oil, stearic acid, sodium lactate, glycerin, castor oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, potassium hydroxide, soy protein, sodium hydroxide, almond oil, bentonite clay, mango butter, avocado oil, hemp oil, shea oil and essential oils. Uh, I've just noticed on there, there's no, no menthol on there. I don't know whether that comes under essential oils, I don't know. I know in the US they don't have to mention menthol in the soaps, so I don't know if it's the same over here, but there's definitely menthol in here. It does say it on the front, I suppose it does say mentholated. So I suppose that sort of covers off on that there's menthol in there. And I'm going to finish off today with some mild grooming, frosted franken lime. So I've got a mentholated lime scent, and this is absolutely stunning, this stuff. Probably my most used of the mild grooming range. Three tiny little splashes in your hand, that's all you need. Wow, no burn at all, no sting. That really goes to show the quality of face fat shaving soap. Especially considering there's menthol in there. Like I said before, the menthol can, it can affect your shave. You can push a little bit harder your razor sometimes and get razor burn and all the other things that come along with it, but no razor burn today, no nothing, absolutely brilliant. The brush today was the Simulg 2012 Special Edition Owners Club. It's the, pretty much the exact same knot that was in the Simulg Caravella. I have been in contact with Simulg recently <coughs> regarding that new brush that split all the paint splits on it. And they were awesome, they actually offered to send a new brush and I said, look, don't worry about it, it's, it'll probably happen again. And I was just like, you know, I didn't know whether it was a new thing or or not. And they said it was quite something that happens quite often if you leave the brush in the water for too long. It soaks up, the, the wood expands and then it splits the paint. But I did end up buying something from them. So it's on the way, I'm looking forward to getting that. But really great company, it's great that you can get in contact with them. Now if you want to get in contact with them through Instagram is probably the best way. Just follow them on Instagram and then you can flip them an instant message. And I'll tell you what, they, they had all the time in the world to chat with you. So, or to chat with me at least. I don't know whether they will for you, but they certainly did for me and I was quite impressed with that they took the time out of the busy schedule to actually have a chat and, and talk about things. They'll talk to you in English as well, probably better in terms of well, typing, but their English typing is as good if not better than my Scottish typing. So it's just an excellent company and I really enjoyed actually dealing with them recently there. So Simul Bonus Club 2012, six years old this brush. This was part of a, a gentleman from over in the Eastern States in Australia who passed away sadly and his family was selling off all, well, a friend who was a wet shaver was selling off all this stuff, all the shaving stuff on behalf of the family to try and raise some funds to sort of help them. And this is a brush that will probably never leave my den just because of that sheer fact of this sort of sentimental sort of value. I know I never knew the bloke, I uh, hear he was an awesome guy, but just to do his brush justice and look after it, I'd hate to send it to someone and I'll get looked after it. I know it gets looked after me. But just a stunning brush and it's 50% bore, 50% badger and it's the same knot that's in the Caravella. It's also the same knot that is in the new Taj Simul brushes, the, the blend brush. So it's the same knot in that as well. And finishing off today with the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, which is an absolutely stunning razor. Solid brass. It is a five piece razor essentially. You've got a top cap, your base cap, this part here, the, I don't know whether that's called the ferrule or whatever. Then the main handle. And then the button on the bottom are all separate parts. So on the handle itself, the handle's hollow and they're literally squeezed in. So to get the, the weight and the balance right, they've squeezed both ends into this with a snug fit and it pushes out against it and it holds it solid. So they're not even glued, it's just all compression fittings, I suppose. And I've got the third juice on a Gillette Super Thin Blade from Thailand. And boy oh boy, was that a freaking amazing shave. It really was. Wow. I don't know whether you can actually see, but my neck, I mean, I, it looks like I've got hairs here, but I don't, my neck hasn't looked this good and God knows how long, I really don't remember. How, how it's looking on the inside, I've got no idea, but on the outside it's never looked this good. So, other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.